We have heard of individuals who are suspected of walking and performing conscious activities during sleep. Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a sleeping disorder in which a person wakes up from sleep and walks around at night. It is associated with complex behavioral changes in the personality of individuals. Mostly, a single episode of sleepwalking is noticed per night. The duration of a single incident is around 5 to 15 minutes. Individuals are doubtful with little or no memory of acts that they had done at the previous night. They usually do not remember the sleepwalking incident. The onset of sleepwalking is often in a deep sleep, but it can occur in one to two hours after falling asleep. Sleepwalking is more common in children than adults, particularly at the age of three to seven years. Children with sleep apnea, a disorder in which breathing patterns fluctuate, are at a higher risk of developing sleepwalking. The prevalence of sleepwalking is 1 to 15% in the general population, and it is found not to be associated with psychiatric or psychological problems. It is a partially hereditary disorder. According to a study, it is 10 times more likely to occur if your first relative has a history of this disorder. The causes behind developing sleepwalking are interrupted sleep, disturbance in falling asleep, anxiety, a lack of sleep, depression, overactive thyroid gland, and going to bed with a full bladder. Common symptoms for sleepwalking are getting out of bed at night and wandering around. Other symptoms are sitting still on the couch, difficulty in waking up, not responding to conversations, sleep talking, looking dazed, inappropriate behaviors, and bedwetting. During sleepwalking, the eyes of a person are open, but their face is giving a blank expression. Now, there is a myth that we should not awaken the person from sleep because in sleepwalking, the soul is detached from the body, but this is a misconception we should wake them up so they do not harm themselves. First, they might be a little confused and disoriented, but later they will figure that out. A person gets injured by slipping down, losing balance, getting cuts, and hitting the wall, which can be a consequence of sleepwalking. Unfortunately, there is no proper medication or treatment for sleepwalking. Healthy sleeping habits and avoiding daytime napping is recommended. Sleep apnea is an underlining cause, and before treating sleepwalking, you need to work on the sleep apnea. There are some tips you can try at home. These include proper exercise, meditation, playing music that can relax you and relieve your stress. You should try creating an easy and comfortable environment in the bedroom. The children should avoid using technology-based electronics before going to bed, and you need to take medicines two hours before going to bed. Avoid eating large-sized meals and spicy food items at night, and there can be alternative therapies like yoga that keep you active and healthy. As sleepwalking causes fatigue, people suffering from it should stay relaxed. Sleepwalking is not only attributed to wandering around at night. People also perform a series of other strange activities like cooking, cleaning, screaming, running out of the house, and driving too long of distances. Yes, driving. These strange acts of consciousness make them vulnerable to accidents and put themselves and others' lives at risk. The diagnosis of sleepwalking comprises of history and a recall of onset, precautionary measures like hiding the breakable objects, sharp-edged items, and locking the doors are advised to avoid any unpleasant situations. I once saw my friend sleepwalking from his room all the way to the graveyard. Pretty spooky. Have you ever seen something like that? If so, let us know in the comment section down below.